Hey, so you've got to the point where you've got the first layer complete and you want to move this edge piece up into this position. So I've moved it into a place where it makes a T. So one of the colours matches up and we need to rotate it around here. So first thing you do is move it away from the second side and then you perform a combination of two moves which takes this piece out of place and then brings it back into place and these are moves that you'll see in the other video on inserting the corner pieces into the first layer so we perform this move which takes the white piece out Brings it back to this position and then we put it in place using this move and there we have that piece in place. We'll do it again with another piece, let's say pink and black which is on the other side this time there's the T so we move it away from the black one then we take that white out of place return it to below its position and then we insert it again and there the edge piece is in place now the reason I show you this move at all is because it has an interesting effect on the lower face. So if we consider black to be the top and grey to be the bottom, I'll start with a completed cube and I'll perform that combination of moves and we'll just look at what the effect is on the bottom layer. So. that move which takes that black corner piece out and then we put it back in again like this so we have dislodged this edge piece but the effect on the bottom layer is quite interesting so this was the face that we started with you notice that the two corner pieces of purple are in their correct position but one of them has been rotated but more interestingly the pink corners have swapped place so there is the pink grey white which belongs here and there is pink orange and grey which belongs here so that combination of moves can be used to swap two corner pieces on the bottom layer and then interestingly if we perform the move so we performed it on this starting on this layer here if we do it in the opposite direction it puts those corner pieces back again while leaving the purple ones in place they have been rotated but that's fine so we can use a combination of that move in order to arrange the pieces and to pivot the pieces. Thanks for watching. This first part is going to look at how to get the four corners on the top layer only. Move the white and pink one in.